Hey, good morning, everybody. Today, I want to jump right in and I want to talk to you guys about how to tell your story on a podcast in a way that makes a point. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to myself pretend like I'm on a podcast and I'm going to let you guys listen to a standard response that I give. And in that, I'm going to talk about how I use this story and make it a teaching point. So one of my interview topics is all about changing your words and your beliefs to match whatever goal you have in life. So the host would ask me, a particular question that would lead me to telling this story. And even if they don't ask it correctly, I can typically bridge it in the way that I need it to be. So they ask me the question and then I'm going to respond something like this. I'm so glad you asked me that. Let me tell you a story from my own life. So for 10 years, I had this dream and desire of writing a book. And as a matter of fact, I would tell anybody who would listen that I want to write a book but I'm not a writer. Well, the thing is about words, that words are like a mirror to your subconscious programming. And when you hear me say the words, I want to write a book, it's like you can see that written on my soul that I have come into this life with this purpose of wanting to write this book or needing to get this information out to the world. But I have a big problem when the next words that come out of my mouth are, but I'm not a writer because as long as those are the words that are coming out of my mouth, you know, those words, I'm not a writer are also revealing to me some type of subconscious programming. That means that somehow, somewhere, maybe in my childhood or some belief system that was never going to allow me to write a book. And so that is an example of being out of alignment when my words don't match my desire. So I want to write a book, but I'm not a writer. That is an example of being out of alignment. And what I needed to do to correct that programming, correct that belief is I needed to invest in myself. And the moment that I invested in myself was the moment that that could begin to change. And so what I did was I signed up to go to my very first writer's workshop. And at the end of that week, I wrote a a very short story that I shared with the class that was all about my daughter who passed away in 1993. It was about my son who's on the autism spectrum and what it's like being a single parent of a child that you really don't have a rule book of how to raise this child, as well as my roller coaster life as an entrepreneur. And when I read that story to the class, no one criticized me, no one made fun of me, no one told me I wasn't a writer. As a matter of fact, I brought them to tears with my story and they were coming up to me asking me one and more information. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and I want to, now I'm going to show you how many teaching points I can get out of that. So I can use this as a bridge to talk about how to change your words. So I could then say, you know, the moral of the story is it's not about becoming a writer, but how often do we say to ourselves, I want to start a business, but I don't have the money or the credit or the free time, or I want to lose 20 pounds, but I don't have time to go to the gym or, you know, I want to, you know, it's always like the thing that we say we want canceled out with the, but excuse and whatever that, but excuse is, is some sort of subconscious programming that we have picked up along the way that is going to forever keep us from our goals until we correct this. Well, for me, what I needed was the evidence I needed I needed the evidence to see that, in fact, I could write something. And once I saw that evidence, I could then change my words, which would then change the words, then change the thoughts, and then it would then change the belief. So it was like this feedback cycle. Okay, so that's one kind of teaching moment that I can get out of that story is to teach people the impact of their words and teach people the impact of how when they change their words by investing in themselves, how they can then change everything. Okay, so let's go to another area. I could use this as a teaching moment to talk about alignment. So when I talk about alignment, oftentimes I talk about that you need to get your words, your thoughts, your actions 
your behaviors, your choices, all moving in the same direction of what you want. And so there would be an example of out of alignment because my words were not in alignment with what I wanted. So I'm not, so teaching moment number two is about alignment. A third teaching moment that I could get out of this is to talk about one of the ways to manifest what you want in life is to always be doing everything to connect yourself to what you want. So once you decide and you define and you get really clear on you what, what you want that end result to be, it's all of those things you do in the thinnest sliced moments of life that are going to either connect you to what you want or disconnect you and keep you swirling in the chaos and the uncertainty of everything that you don't want. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I think the bigger thing is, do you see how I took a personal story of mine, which was my resistance to becoming a writer, and I turned that around and not only told a great story, but I also, I also gave a takeaway. Okay. The audience got a takeaway because if you want the takeaway that they got is that if they want to change their words, if they want to change their beliefs, they first need to take action in the direction that they want. They need to, and the action is investing in yourself. So whether that's taking a class, stepping foot inside of a gym, applying for a job, getting outside of your comfort zone. Just do something, take a step in a new direction. That is the teaching point. Okay, so for today's assignment and what I would like to see you guys do is think of a story from your life and this should be a story that you're willing to share on a podcast and I want you to ask yourself, what can someone learn from that story. So what is the moral of the story and how can you build a bridge between the story and what you want someone to get out of it? And if your story is specific like mine was, I think it's important to make the point, like for example, when I said, you know, it's not about writing a book, it's how often, it's about the pattern. How often do we say, I wanna start a business but I don't have the money? Or I wanna lose 20 pounds but I don't, have time to go to the gym or I don't have money or you know whatever it is is the excuse but you can see how I took my story and I broke it down in a way that is allowing the listener to learn through my story okay so you know one of the thing is I want to teach you guys how to get on podcasts but I also want you to be the best guest so about mm, let's see I've been going on podcasts for 13 months Probably about seven months ago, I made a decision that I not only want to go on podcast, but I want to be the best guest that every single one of these hosts have ever encountered. And that has served me so well because I have gotten so many collaborative projects come to me as a result of all of these featured and fabulous podcast guest experiences, which to date is 150. As a matter of fact, I'm going on a podcast today. It will be a video podcast, which are more the rare. You know, you don't always have to prepare for a video podcast, but um, that is what I'm doing today. All right, so let me know if you have any questions. I am always happy to help. Your assignment today is listen to this video and then think of a story out of your life that has a moment where you can use to teach it. So in mine, it is all about taking that story about my transition from believing I wasn't a writer to becoming a writer. If you're just joining in, I do recommend that you um, watch from the replay, watch the video from the beginning so that you can get, get today's lesson um, and do the exercise because I'm still waiting on a lot of people to post from yesterday. And if you want any more information about the online podcast class featured in Fabulous, your five-phase formula to booking yourself on a podcast, of course, I'm happy to provide you that link. All right, goodbye for now, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications, at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.